Nate Cox, thanks for joining us around the home. Well, today I'm going to be unboxing and setting up Ego's new 650 cubic feet per minute blower. This is their this is their beast. Okay, I thought the uh, the older version, you know, was was amazing, but this one steps it up quite a bit more even. Okay, um, and the nice thing is, is I was kind of also needing another battery. You know, just give me some extra run time. I had one of the older ones, kind of just, you know, finally go out. Um, and this one comes with the 5.0 amp hour battery. So I could have just bought that battery for $250, or I could spend 50 extra bucks and get this too. So duh, got this. So let's dig into it, okay? And for those of you who are wondering, I do have Amazon links in the description down below for this and many of their other tools, okay? Now when you do buy one of the Eagle tools, I do suggest, I've uh, been checking into it a bit more lately, for their warranty, because you do want to get the warranty listed. That is a five-year warranty on the tool, three years on the battery. In the case you do have a battery issue before those first three years, you do need it registered. And it has to be purchased from an authorized dealer, okay? So that means Lowe's, number one, okay, or Lowe's.com. Two, Ace Hardware is now an authorized dealer as well. So Lowe's is new, it used to be Home Depot, but they switched over to Lowe's, Ace Hardware, and Amazon.com. And when I say Amazon.com, I mean actually Amazon.com, not a third party seller from Amazon. Okay, now I will have proper links in the description down below, but if anyone comes across one that's not, you know, that's for some reason is showing up as a third party seller, let me know and I'll fix that. Um, if you use those links, it not only helps you get these products, but helps support the channel as well. So please click away. All right, here we go. All right, instruction booklets talks about the batteries and the tool and this and that, all the different features. All right, so this is a little bit different. We have, looks like we have exchangeable tips here. So we have the regular spout. We have a slightly uh, condensed tip there to kind of like pressure, you know, a little higher pressure there. And then we have a, yeah, I kind of like having the extra options there. And they all, let's see here. The one's kind of sticking. I think I have it on crooked. Yeah, there's some notches there, okay. So you gotta get it lined up on the notches. And it clicks and locks on real nice, okay. There we go. So that's kind of nice having those extra pieces. Now here is the blower. This is the main guy right here. A few extra changes here. Made it a little more colorful with the base around the back here. Now on the, the 530 CFM blower, it had the speed control right here with the turbo button on top. So the turbo button's still on top. This one here has a throttle control on the side, okay? And we're going to check into that here in just a minute. Okay. And then what we have left is simply another standard charger. And on this one here, which is something I was suggesting that they needed to do all along. It was kind of like my only, my only, uh, I want to say gripe, my only thing, suggestion for them to do on their batteries was to give a fuel gauge. So I got two bars lit up there, and it looks like there's a total of five possible, okay? So it's kind of nice to actually kind of see it rather than just clicking it and seeing, okay, green is good, red means it's under 15%. Okay, now some people will be like, oh yeah, it's two bars on the battery, let's test it out. Now, I prefer to get a full charge on this thing right off the bat. I think that's one of the better things you do for your battery when it comes new in a package like this. Well, first of all, after you unpackage it, I would really recommend you guys get online I'll have a link in the description down below for Ego's main website and just get your product registered. Get it done and out of the way, okay, before you, you know, if you forget to, before you get things mixed up because the serial number on the battery also matches, I mean, the, the, the first like four or five digits are unique for the battery or unique for the charger or unique for the, for the blower, but then the rest of the serial number is actually matching. So this serial number matches the serial number for the blower and for the charger and they all kind of get registered together, okay? So take a moment, you know, before you get everything mixed up and get it registered. Then, slap that puppy on a charger, okay? Now, to help finish off this video, I thankfully have another good battery. Because I think it's got most of a charge. Um, it's got, I'm sure it's got at least half of a charge and we're gonna go, let's play with this thing. Okay, I guess we should get rid of the tag. There we go. All right, kind of excited. My blower, the blower, okay. It's my favorite tool that they got. It's just so powerful. But I will tell you what, um, because the motor spins so crazy fast, 
you know, on the turbo mode, you know, especially on the turbo mode, it is the hardest drainer of all the batteries. It, it really is. Uh, so when you use the blower, I really probably recommend, you know, to use the regular throttle, you know, throughout different areas, use a turbo when needed. Uh, I would probably, for best battery longevity over the years, um, I would probably, and I, I am culprit of it because it's just so fun, but I would refrain from just burning the battery completely up, holding the turbo the whole time from start to finish uh, nonstop because it's just a very hard discharge on the battery. Another 5.0 amp hour battery. For those of you who don't know what that means really quick, because you're probably like, aren't they all 56 volt? What's the 5.0 and stuff, all that. So let's talk about the amp hours really quick, okay? Because a lot of you probably just don't get it. What's that mean? Well, because you're like, if they're all 56 volt, well, what's the other stuff mean? 56 volt is, is great. You got that part, right? Uh, it means that all the batteries work on all the tools, you know, whether it's blower, mower, string trimmer, whatever, okay? They have the same amount of cells and stuff in there. Uh, and then, then the motor is, is based to match that 56 volt power. So think of the 56 volt is, is the, the, you know, the supply for like your car motor, okay? So the 56 volt, like the bigger the volts, the bigger the motor, right? You see if you have, a, if you have like a 12, 12 volt drill versus like, a, like an 18 volt or a 20 volt, you know that the 18, 20 volts more powerful, right? Same kind of thing. And the 56 volt is even much, much more powerful. The amp hours is like the gas tank, okay? The bigger the amp hours, the more juice there is to burn up. That's literally what it is, okay? So the 5.0 amp hour battery should last pretty much exactly twice of what the 2.5 amp hour. You know, and then plus they have the seven and a half amp hour, and I think they even have a 10 amp hour battery now too. Pretty crazy, but that breaks it down. So since the blower sucks so much power, it's really nice to have the five in there. All right, well, this is a little different here. All right, so I pull the trigger. That's just like a, I'm not sure how fast that speed is, but then when I do the dial here, that's even slower, you can hear that. But it's like a cruise control. I mean, I don't have to hold anything. So I don't have to worry about holding the button down or, or you know, or anything else like that. Well, now that is a neat feature. So your trigger, Okay, so your trigger has three variable speeds to it. So this is a bit different than the other one, which was you pull the trigger and you set the uh, speed up front. So you have a variable speed trigger, which is a three speed vari variable, plus a turbo, or you have your cruise control where you can just set it and lock it. Very nice, very nice changes, nice update. Very excited to see this in the field. Okay, so I will of course have more videos to come with this blower showing its power. I'm gonna compare it head to head against the 530. I'll have it blowing some paint cans across the garage floor again, probably. Anyways, thanks again so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, check out our website. Another video for you guys to see as well. You guys have a great one.